The so, too many token problem. The too many token problem. Because now you've got something like the Curve Wallet here, and it's got Dex, which is beautiful, and, and it, it can it can create tokenized abstraction. So so what I mean with that, with, with the Dex, one token is technically a representation for any other token. Yep. So so the Curve token is a representation via Dex or um, centralized exchange in this specific case is a representation of something like Bitcoin, it's a representation of something like Ethereum and different values and it's constantly changing but it's still a representation. But for each one of them you need their underlying token. For New Cypher I need KMS, for Blizzell I need BLZ, for WANChain I need WAN. So, so now we can use the Curve token as a singular entity that via the DEX allows for this tokenized abstraction which means with the Curve token I can fuel any one of these ecosystem components. So, so now you the, the wallet, which was a big picture, you, you zoom out a bit and you make it a small picture, and it's just a payment solution of a system that allows me to plug and play all of these different blockchains. So if I wanna, I want to start up an Ethereum node via something like a cloud formation, and I want to start interacting it with Wanchain, I just, I just boot that up via the menu and I start interacting with it. And, and I want to save data on IPFS, then I just create a new IPFS store and I start saving data to it. And, and this is all being paid for in an abstract way with, with something like the perfect.